Hey guys, it's Kat. Welcome to a brand new video of my all-time favorite makeup products of 2017. I would grab your tea, your drinks, your snacks, your beverages because today is going to be a very long video. Many of you have requested for me to do this video on Instagram. I have a giant Sephora bag full of all my favorite products of 2017. Let's jump right in, starting off with primers. I think I have a mix of high-end stuff and not so high-end. These primers are in the middle and high-end. First off, start off with the high-end one. This is the YSL All Hours Primer. They did send this to me. I will list all the products that I talk about in this video and the price right here because, girl, I do not remember the price. I know that this is a hefty penny, but it is amazing. I am super picky with primers on what works with my skin. My skin is super sensitive. If you breathe near me wrong, I swear I will get a pimple and react to it. So this one really worked for me. That's why I love it. The Marc Jacobs coconut primer has been a tried and true favorite as well this in 2017 has been a solid for me and the good hydration by bare minerals for all you dry skin girls out there this one I love that it's in a squeezy tube it comes out squirting like I don't know how to explain it like zip pus as gross as that sounds, but I absolutely love it. Another great moisturizer, I've learned that you need to moisturize and take care of your skin before putting on makeup, so I do moisturizer, then primers like these. A great one, I don't have it now. I absolutely ran out of it in less than two months. That's how much I loved it, and it's super pricey. It's the Dr. Jart Hydro Gel. It's this beautiful, clear, ocean of blue gel, and it just feels like water on your face. I absolutely love that line, and I ran out. That's why I don't have it here, but I'll put a picture here. Let's talk about fix sprays. My favorite that is a dupe to this Tatcha one that I barely touched because I found one that doesn't smell as strong and works just as good if not better is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. I absolutely love this for dry skin. I have super dry skin and it is amazing to me. I love this, so great. Let's talk about foundation and start off with a cheap but a goodie. I discovered the L'Oreal Pro Glow this year. I absolutely love this. They also have a pro matte for all you girls out there who are super oily skin. Pro Glow is great for someone who's combination to very dry. It is so beautiful, it's very liquidy, it's great with a brush or a beauty blender. I absolutely love this and it's super cheap and affordable. If you want to go a step further into the more high end, this was my all time absolute favorite foundation that no one has been talking about. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. It is so amazing. I used this in my Post Malone video. It's an amazing match for me. I don't think they go dark enough, honestly. This is a running theme with many foundation companies. If you are very dry, I would definitely suggest this or combination. If you're more of a, let's say, oily skin, I would definitely, definitely go with the Fenty Beauty line. Amazing coverage, buildable, just as buildable as this, and they have better shade selection. I wish this had an even larger shade selection, but I love this foundation so, so much. If you have it or find it in your color, it's amazing. All-time favorite this year of 2017. Another great foundation for events. If you have very dry skin, you need to use a lot of moisturizer with this, so it's great for oily skin, but this is the All Hours Foundation by YSL. Super bougie. I noticed that the high-end companies love to do this frosted containers, which is not my favorite because I feel like it's harder to tell your color or look at the color shade before you try it on. It is honestly so pricey for the amount of stuff that you get. You only get 0.84 full fluid ounces, not even a full fluid ounce, but it's a great foundation nonetheless. I love it. Now let's talk about concealers. I finally, finally joined the cult favorite. It is well worth the hype. It is the Tarte Shape Tape. I hear that they're coming out with a foundation in this formula, which I hope that doesn't disappoint. This is amazing full coverage concealer. You probably heard everybody rave about this. It's good for even priming your eyelid before putting on eyeshadow. This is amazing. I love it for especially 
eyebrow cover ups when I do my glue and let that dry and put this on top. It is absolutely amazing. It's a very big applicator. It's a very big size amount, which I love. Great for the price. And if you wanna go a little bit more cheaper, you guys, if you've been watching my channel, you know my cult favorite used to be the Urban Decay Weightless Full Coverage Concealer, and I found a drugstore dupe to that. And it is the $5 NYX HD Studio Concealer. I'm surprised a lot of people haven't been talking about this. It is a great bang for your buck. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The only problem I do have with it is that it, doesn't last long. There's not that much product in here, but for $5, how can you complain? I'm in the color beige in this and in I'm not light neutral in the Tarte Shape Tape. If you want to go bougie, bad and bougie, why sell? I've been all about that brand lately. Not because they just sent me PR, but I absolutely love their products, but I love their concealer as well. It's more of a moisturized concealer and not super full coverage, but it lays beautifully on the skin. All their color names are in numbers, which is confusing, but I absolutely love it. I haven't tried any new powders. I've just been sticking to my RCMA No Color, but on contours, oh my gosh, this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour. It is literally almost the exact dupe to the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, like the middle color, and this is great for setting the under eyes, and this is a beautiful contour. It's $5. How can you go wrong with that? It's a huge pan, and I've hit pan with it. You could tell I love it. It's tried and true. Another contour palette I need to talk about, though, that no one's talking about this collection, and not only because I got to work with Lorac this year, but the Pirates of the Caribbean collection knocked my socks off. Not only because I'm a fan of Lorac and Pirates of the Caribbean themselves, but this was beautiful. I love the contour shade in here. Unfortunately, they don't cater to darker skinned girls with this contour shade, and but this, so beautiful. This Caribbean, it's like a, Mauvey blush is great. These are great more natural highlighter shades. This palette is so underrated, so pretty. It's super great for traveling. You have a contour blush and highlights. Unfortunately, this contour and blush, I feel like won't cater to the darker skin girls, but it's super pretty. These highlighters are amazing. Look at that. They're so pretty. They're not chalky, which I have issues with some of Lorac's older products of them being a little too chalky on their contour, but this one knocked out the park, park for me. It looks like a spell book. I absolutely love it. And of course, I'm a huge fan of Pirates, so it all works out. Speaking of highlighters, this is probably gonna be the biggest section of all the products I talk about because I never realized how obsessed I am with highlighters until I went through 2017's favorites. Let's talk about Ofra. I've been loving the Beverly Hills highlighter and the Naked Tutorials collab with them in Everglow. Both of these are beautiful and amazing. What I love about them is they're a little pricey for, I mean, the packaging is more simple, but you could do so many different highlight looks with this. It's so worth the money. You get four shades of highlighter with this, each individual one, and if you mix them all. And this one, girl, you get six different shades. They are like blinding highlight. If you're really into blinding highlight, I would highly suggest this. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, speaking of blinding highlight, one that's super affordable and a new brand I discovered this year recently, but has stayed in my collection, I always reach for it, is the J-Cat highlighters. These are two of my favorites. This one, blinding highlight, more of a yellow tone, warmer highlight. This is in the color White Goddess. It is this beautiful, <sighs> yellowy, warm tone highlight super strong. I am wearing today the Ofra Everglow highlighter and it's amazing. I love using this with beauty blenders, with brushes, everything. Oh my gosh, I used this in my recent beauty video here on YouTube. This is J Cat's Bella Rose. This company makes the best eyeshadows and highlighters in all the land for the most affordable price. If you want to go something very affordable as well, but more natural, I would definitely, definitely suggest the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This one is in the color Precious Petals. It is so pretty, the design on it, and it is just a gorgeous, more natural highlight. If you're into a more natural, that's a buildable highlighter, definitely go to the store and 
grab this at your local drugstore. It's amazing. If you want something that's super shocking, very glittery, I'm not usually into glittery highlighters, but I recently got these, super recent, but I use them in a video and on every day and I absolutely love them. These are the Milk Glitter Sticks and Holographic Stick. The holographic stick is in the color Stardust and the glitter stick is in the color, did you just say glitter stick? There's no color name. Anyways, these are super beautiful. This pink blue shift highlight. Oh my gosh, it's like duochrome and this one's pink, blue, and white. This one's probably my absolute favorite glitter stick. Oh, it's in the color Techno, this lighter one. These are both gorgeous. I, Like I said, I recently used these in my recent beauty video here on YouTube where I did like the wet eyelid look and oh my gosh, these are amazing. These are probably some of my all-time favorite highlighters and I never thought I would say that about something that's super glittery, but I love them so much. I hadn't been too impressed with Milk's other recent highlight sticks, but these ones knocked it out of the park for me. I absolutely love it. It's like intergalactic, my little pony, everything you ever wanted if you're really into glitter and a very outlandish highlight. Even when you wipe it away, it's still there. So pretty. We talked about a blush in that Lorac palette with Pirates of the Caribbean. I absolutely love that blush. You know a blush is good if your mom asks you what blush you're wearing. My mom wanted that. I should just buy it for her, that palette. But oh my gosh, this one, Exposed by Tarte. This is a very neutral light. I'm wearing it today. This blush, I've always wanted to find a blush like this. You know Tarte makes some of the best blushes of all time. This one though will go with, I'm sure, any look. It's not too cool tone, it's not too warm tone, and it's not too peachy, it's not too rose or pink. It is just beautiful. It looks so natural and it's so be like buildable. I absolutely love this. And I've like totally dusted away the whole Tarte design. This is the first blush I've done that with. I've never hit pan on a Tarte blush yet because there's so much product in here. They last for so long. But this is totally worth the money. It's my all time favorite color blush from Tarte that they make. I cannot rave about this enough. This is the one I always grab for this year in 2017. It's amazing. Again, it's the exposed color in their Amazonian clay 12 hour blushes. Oh my gosh, I have to mention eyebrows. You guys know how much I'm obsessed with doing eyebrows. Like I take pictures on my camera. If you ever look at my camera, usually it's mostly pictures of me looking dead into the camera really creepily straight on because I'm actually checking my eyebrows. That's a weird thing about me. I check my eyebrows by taking pictures of myself that look like mug shots that are super creepy. You know, just to check the eyebrows, I'm super obsessed with brow products. My favorites this year have been the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I was going ham on this. I love how fine tip this is. The spoolie's super long and great. But then I discovered something cheaper and just as good. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil. And I used two different colors, medium brown and dark brown. The only thing I hate about this, and I notice a lot about a drugstore eyebrow colors, they do not come in everything or cater to every single shade. And I've never been a fan of these type of brow pencils where it's long, it's like a weird shape. It reminds me of Korean brown eyebrow pencils, but I go in with the lighter medium brown and then I fill in the inner parts of the darker, more thicker natural brow hairs I have with the darker brown and I mix the two. And your my eyebrows go on so great so quickly with this and then cleaning up with concealer. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, this is the good part, the best layer part of the cake of this whole video, which is eyeshadow palettes. The first thing, as you can see, is the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. I finally got my hands on one. It's so affordable. The minis, I think, were on sale at one point for $13, so you know I had to get my hands on it. If you're into wild colors or high quality colors for the price, Juvia's Place is the one for you. I absolutely love the pigment, the formulation, the blendability. I love that there's a mix of mattes and shimmers in most of their shadows. I love that this one specifically the masquerade comes with neutral tones and wild ones this will make you step out of your comfort zone or if you're into very bold eyeshadows this is the palette for you this will go so great with traveling because if you're into warm tone neutrals the only thing I wish there was there a matte 
black eyeshadow, so that's missing from this palette, but it is so great nonetheless. I absolutely love the quality of it for the price. Juvia's Place makes some of the greatest palettes, not just this one, but all of theirs, and it, you can't miss it. It's just such a bold pop of color, the design and everything. It's so great. Another one, I recently got these and I've been obsessed with them, using them almost every time I touch makeup, which is the J Cat eyeshadow palettes. Here are two of my favorites. This is the one in Hollywood. Oh my gosh, look at those. I love that there's a mix of warm tone oranges and yellows and cool tones, shimmers and mattes. This is under $20 for 24 shades. I absolutely love the blendability of these. They are some of the best eyeshadows. They're comparable, I would say, to Morphe. They're a great price. I feel like JCAT is one of those brands that is very, very underrated. And I also got the Santa Monica eyeshadow palette. Let, let's just look at her real quick. Look at that. I love the greens. I love that there's cool tones. This reminds me of a noir film. I love that there's a matte black in there. The pans are very large and they are so pigmented. Let's just swatch some of these. This color is gorgeous. Matches my nail polish. Look at that. So pretty. I absolutely love these. A great honorable mention that almost made this video was, of course, I was obsessed with the Pirates of the Caribbean line. Their Lorac eyeshadow palette was great quality, but the pans were way too small to put great big brushes in it, which really made me upset because it's really pricey. And they made like a hidden little drawer that the contour and blush palette I showed you goes in. But I didn't put it in here because I didn't like the size of the eyeshadow palette. I feel like with that money, they should have made the eyeshadow pans bigger. Let's talk about glitter. I feel like 2017 was the year that glitter not only showed up in stores as loose pigment or just a glittery eyeshadow, it came in other forms like paint pots. Tarte came out with these chrome paint pots very recently and they have definitely become a favorite even though they haven't been out for long. Oh my goodness, I am wearing this today on my inner corner. It is so pretty. This is in the color Top Yacht. They sent me the whole line and I am absolutely obsessed with the quality of them. The odd thing is, I know I said this before, but they smell like dill pickles, which is weird. Yes, I smell makeup. Yes, I smell everything. Another great product is the Stila glitters. Oh my goodness. I got Bronze Bell, S Smoky Storm, and Kitten Karma was my first one, and I got these ones for Christmas. They're so easy to apply on. These are the Magnificent Metals by Stila. They are amazing. I absolutely love the quality of them. They are pricey. I wish I owned all of them. This would be in my dream collection of makeup, having all the colors. I don't know if it's ever gonna happen one day. I don't wanna lose all of my checks, but amazing quality. I know I said those are amazing, but they're a little pricey. If you're looking for something super affordable, do not, do not sleep on J Cat's Priz Metal Chrome Eye Mousses. These are absolutely gorgeous. Not many people talk about them. They're more of a wet formula than the tarts, but look at that color payoff for the price. It is absolutely stunning. I used these in looks this year, amazing. They have just a shiny shift. They are gorgeous. They're, they don't crack on the eye. I remember there's other products this year that I use that are similar to this J Cat and the Tar and Stila, but they would crack and crumble on the eye if you overpacked it. And this does not do that. And it's so affordable and so incredibly great. When you talk about eyelashes, I discovered Tarte's Lights Camera Splashes for mascara. I am a girl that needs a waterproof mascara. I know it's harder to take off, but I wear contact lenses and my eyes water all the time from allergies, so I need a good waterproof mascara. This has not let me down. I love the packaging. It's so sturdy. I love the wands. You guys have probably heard about this many a times all over YouTube, but I just recently, not recently, this summer discovered it and I absolutely love it. Some eyelashes, I don't have them all because I, I don't have the case because I use them all, but they are the Kiss Lashes. I'll make sure to list that right here and down below in the description box as well. Let's talk about lipstick, a high-end fave this year. It's more of a natural sheen. They have more of a glossy finish, and these are the lipsticks, the YSL ones. Oh my gosh, the Rouge Pure Couture ones. This is my favorite color, and it is 
just the color 70. These don't have names. And it's like, okay, cat, it's like an everyday glossy top. But what this does is it glow goes on so smooth, so great. And it looks like you're wearing a gloss and a lipstick in one. It, there's a laser cut print of the logo. And it's so bougie, but it's so great. I absolutely love it and I had to include it. Another thing I have to include, let's go a little bit cheaper, is the Clinique Chubby Sticks. This color that I'm wearing today, I absolutely love this. This is Broadus Berry. I think that's what it's called. Broadus Berry 07. I absolutely love this color. It's like a berry pink. I love these types of lip pencils because they look so natural and they're so juicy and they hydrate your lips and I love the Chubby Sticks by Clinique. I've always been a fan since I was in high school. I also have to talk about the NYX Slip Tees. I feel like not many people talk about this. They are great for the price and they glide on so nicely. They're not thick. One of their liquid lipsticks was too moussey and too just gloppy and gross I didn't like but I was surprised how much I loved this one. So great. And again, super affordable. I have to talk about, like I said, I'm really onto this Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean. What I love about this, there's not only a mirror, but there's a gloss side and there's a lipstick side. And this packaging honestly looks a little cheap how the lipstick is just like clear 80s, but the colors are so beautiful. And I love, if you get all of them, they're super expensive, I know but some of the colors are so pretty. They're like a more muted 90s and this, oh my gosh, this gloss, some of the glosses are duochrome. This is in the color Barbosa, was one of my absolute favorites from their line. They just had, oh and I love how dark and vampy that lip is. They also had one that was blue, which wasn't my favorite, but all these lipsticks looks kind of similar and neutral, but the glosses have shifts and duochromes, or they're more natural and sparkly. This was one of my favorites. This is Sparrow, and it's like a duochrome purpley gray lip gloss and a purpley gray lipstick. I just think these are so pretty, and I know they're more pricey because it's, again, a collaboration with Disney, but they are so great. And I was recently sent this by, I think Bellamy is in collaboration with Lipland. I love the packaging of them. And these, honestly, they're not super drying, but they feel like nothing on your lips and they stay there. I absolutely love them. And there's some neutral colors. They also have like this beautiful orange color, which it's so rare to see a company Duet Orange. Oh my gosh, this isn't a collaboration, these colors specifically with a Instagram person. This one's, the orange is called One, a million, one in a Million and this one's in Dollface. They're so pretty and again, they feel like nothing on your lips and they're super affordable. Let's talk about makeup removers. I've been super obsessed with my Cellar Wipes from the Simple brand. These are more affordable, but I also love the ones by Bioderma. And to get rid of lipstick, I'm trying to get these swatches off of me. <laughs> to get rid of lipstick, I've been obsessed with and discovered the NYX Be Gone. Of, as you can tell, this is almost gone, my NYX Be Gone. It's super affordable. It gets away like the 24 hour like lipsticks or lip stains amazingly. The last part of this video, I need to talk about sponges and makeup applicators. This is like the meat and potatoes of the video. I like how I reference everything to food. What does that say about me? Anyways, I need to talk about the Wet n Wild Pink Chrome Brushes. When I went to their events, they had a Christmas tree made out of these. I'm like, okay, you are very being so much more extra to show these to us and maybe they aren't that good because you had to display them on a tree and all this stuff, but Oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. They're so soft. They blend makeup out so beautifully. I absolutely love how there's a little divot here and how they go to a skinnier point at the end. They're so easy to hold in your hand. The quality of these are amazing. I love how, just like look at this with the little divot here. Oh, so great. Amazing. I've used these so many times and kept washing them and none of them have shed. And sponges. I have to talk about these Beauty Blender dupes that I absolutely love more than the Beauty Blender because that thing is way, way, way too expensive. I'll still use them if I run out of these, but I always grab for these sponges first. The first one being the Sigma 3D HD sponge. I'm so sad because they gave me a pink and a black one when they sent these to me, but 
The black one was the same color as the inside of the box and I think I accidentally threw it away and it makes me so sad because you can't buy these right now. They're always sold out. I check in every single week on Sigma's website to see if these are sold out or not and they're always sold out. These have last me like six months or more and there's a little bit of holes but nothing drastic. These are amazing. I love the shape of it. You get really in the corner and there's, I mean, a fluffy end, you know, a pouncing end with like round. It's just such a unique, great sponge. It is the closest one that I'm going to show you that's the closest to a beauty blender. Again, beauty blenders are way too expensive. This one I love more than the beauty blender. It's only around $12, but again, it's always out of stock, which makes me sad. Another one I found recently that was just randomly sent to me by this company called Juno are these. The only problem I have with it, as you can see, is I've washed this so many times and it stains, but still worth it. If it made this video, it's like sweater material. It looks like you took part of one of the Muppets and made it into a sponge, as creepy as that sounds. I hope I didn't ruin your childhood. But it's super fluffy and weird. It feels like a sweater. I absolutely love the shape of this though. It reminds me of the real technique sponge. It feels more sturdy than a lot of them because it has this like fuzzy coating. I washed these for this video and I could not get these foundations off, but it's still worth it. Another amazing sponge is by the cream shop I discovered and it's this diamond shaped tie-dye gray and white sponge. Again, because it is white, it does stain in certain parts no matter how much you wash it, but it is so affordable, so great. I know a lot of other companies make this specific kind of sponge. This is the first one I use. I absolutely love this. I thought I was gonna hate this because there's no round edges to it, but it blends out makeup beautifully. But this one I always reach for. I always have to wash it because I use this one the most. It is amazing. Do not sleep on these sponges. So that is the very end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know that this was a super long video about my favorites of the year 2017. If products made this video, they made this video for a reason. I get so many free makeups, but I only rave about the ones I really love. I won't like rave about something. Even if a company pays me, they're like, can you rave about the sponge that falls apart in two seconds? I will not do it. I don't care if they pay me a five figure amount, like tens of thousands of dollars to rave about a sponge, but if it falls apart, I will not do it. I try to stay tried and true to you guys because I look at you guys as like friends, online friends, actual friends, because I wouldn't want my friend to steer me wrong and I don't want to steer you guys wrong so I hope you guys enjoy these products as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I know this is a long video but thanks for sticking around. Leave a comment down below on what was your favorite products of 2017, makeup or otherwise. It could be music or anything honestly. I love to hear your guys' opinions. Thanks again for hanging out with me. I love you all and I will see you in the next video. Bye!